Hello, I'm here to talk about the coastal restoration and hydrokinetic energy sessions that I went to in Blue Check Week. Uh, the first meeting that I went to was the ocean cleanup meeting. And I listened to a bunch of different speakers talk about their different companies and what they're doing to help remove plastic pollution. And one specific company, the hashtag Tide company, um, Matthias Oplinger came to talk to us about how they have been hiring different people in their communities to pick up plastic to be recycled and taken to recycling plants. And um, they identified that there's a huge amount of plastic in the ocean and that this problem isn't slowing down anytime soon. So the best thing to do is to encourage people to recycle it. And they did this because they realized whenever they went out to third world and uh, developing countries that the fishermen couldn't even fish anymore because there was so much pollution in the oceans that the fish were all dying out. And so one example that he used was the man in the little picture. Uh, he said that before that, that was a fisherman, but he ran out of fish in his local community so he was hired by Tide to begin picking up plastic pollution instead. And this seems like a really helpful way to help small communities remove the enormous amount of plastic that's now circulating in the ocean. The, one of the other speakers was Flavio de Andrade, who is a part of Ocean Pact. And he spoke about their current mangrove restoration that they started in July of this year. So they got a bunch of people together to begin working on restoring the native plants to the area to help restore the ecosystems to how they used to be. Um, this was a really impressive project to me. It seems like something that I would be really interested in doing uh, as it's all field work and restoration work. And I really enjoy conservation work and specifically looking into the biodiversity of ecosystems and looking at how the food web is interconnected and how the habitat can support increased biodiversity. So they chose to restore the mangroves because it's a really important part of the ecosystem there. The other session that I went to that I found really interesting was the hydrokinetic energy session where about four different speakers talked about each of their company's ways of harnessing ocean energy. So Marcus Lehman is a part of Cal Wave Power and they came up with their own technology of how to harness waves. And they talked about how it was an extremely useful, renewable energy source and how this could maybe be part of the answer to how we get off fossil fuels and oil and gas and switch over to renewable energy. Because right now there isn't enough renewable energy sources in place to support all of the energy needed by people. So this could be a way to solve that problem. Um, his company specifically came up with a small box that sort of floats on the water and harnesses the energy that way. And he said that this was beneficial because um, it's very storm resistant, so it doesn't break easily. And it's still able, and it doesn't cost a lot to make because it's not a large piece of infrastructure. And he talks about how they built their design looking at wind turbines and how to make that most efficient. The other company was Core Power Ocean and Patrick Muller spoke for them. He talked about their design for how to harness wave energy. They have a little bit different of a design. It looks more like a buoy. So it's connected to the ocean floor and they use a sort of tension with the rope that's connected to the ocean floor to generate energy that way. And they are currently in stage four of development. So they have a couple of prototypes out currently in the ocean to test how much energy can be received by them and see how efficient they are compared to other sources of energy. And they are hoping to enter into stage five soon, which would be commercially using uh, their prototype to harness wave energy. And I also wanted to say thank you to Dr. A and to ESRM and the IRA committee for 
uh, paying for us to come see all of these super interesting uh, people speak. It was really inspiring actually, and very thought oriented. And it was a really good experience to get to talk to these people and to get to experience this. So thank you.